when a two-mile-wide fragment of the comet traveling 40 miles a second... Pieces of the comet that will hit Jupiter. Three fragments are scheduled to hit the planet. ...will slam into the same area, the same spot on the planet Jupiter. About 1993, we learned that there was a comet uh, heading for Jupiter. Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 was a comet that was discovered by Eugene and Carolyn Shoemaker and David Levy. It was shown to be broken up into a bunch of pieces. They traced back the orbit. This thing had gone by Jupiter and gotten disrupted. And then they tracked the orbit forward and found out these are going to hit Jupiter. And that got everyone excited. But this is the first time that these impacts have been observed. Impacts were very important in the formation of everything. We could observe an impact on another planet. Scientists still don't know what they're going to see. The whole world community, scientific community, was preparing to observe these events. Any telescopes that could observe the impacts did. Many, many ground-based telescopes. The Hubble Space Telescope. All of the images from Hubble that went on the web suddenly got everyone's attention. Which was a real key to many of the scientific results. Also Galileo. Which was on the way to Jupiter at the time. The NASA Infrared Telescope Facility had a campaign dedicated dedicated to observing Shoemaker-Levy. 25 years ago, that was my first observing run ever. We're starting tonight with the near-infrared spectrometer. God, that's that. gorgeous. They were seeing something pop up on the screen and we were shouting. <laughs> <laughs> Literally dancing about it. And we saw this bright thing just light up and it was like, Yes, we did it. We were all like kids in a candy store, I guess. Well, the energy we saw wasn't just the impact itself, but it was the sort of splashback. And when those pieces plowed into the atmosphere, they brought up big plumes of material that rained back down on the upper part of the atmosphere. We were able to measure changes in the upper atmosphere of Jupiter. It taught us a great deal about how impacts take place. Scientists say if a fragment the same size hit Earth, it would leave a crater the size of Rhode Island. It was one of those wake-up calls. And here it is, this awakening. They kind of precipitated this NASA Planetary Defense Coordination Office. To make sure to find the asteroids that come close to Earth and the comets that come close to Earth, get them cataloged, figure out where they've been and where they're going to be in the future just so we understand are we at risk of being impacted on the Earth? So that's a big component of what NASA does now, it has planetary defense to find potential impacts for the Earth and protecting it.